to create this design you need to add the rounded cube operators preset should be chord sphere and arc count should be 6 then you need to add a cylinder with the 32 volts here one thing is important I have done the several trials to match this vertex count and then I will be able to create this design with very simple steps then select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference then adjust the position of the cylinder to get that right cut as per your design like this you can see I'm able to match the vertex count at there so that's why I'm able to match the vertical edges of the cylinder and the curved edges of the rounded cube and that will help me to create a good topology for the design then you can apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object now here you need to select this extra word and then press shift G amount of adjacent faces then it's going to select all the extra words and then control X dissolve words then you can merge the words at here select words and press M and merge at last or merge at center here you need to turn on the extra more and merge the words here you can select these words and merge them at the center and that's easy then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry then turn on the extra mode and delete the bottom part then one more time take the symmetry along the x axis then you can select these edges with the shift select and then control b add a bevel on them add two segment bevel and shift factor should be one give the proper bevel width then you can select this inner face loop and these faces and then delete these faces now select this edge loop and scale it along the z axis give the value 0 to make it flat along the z axis then select this bottom face loop and delete it then select everything and move it along the z axis in this way then change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and scale it along the z axis in this way then change the transform pivot point to the bounding box then select this edge loop and e to extrude it and move it along the y axis then scale it along the y axis give the value 0 then select everything and take the symmetry like this so you will get this kind of design it's very simple and easy now just we need to add some more loop cuts then select everything and extrude along the normal and give the proper offset add there here I can see weird shading issue so that's why I need to check the face orientation and then recalculate the normal then select this face loop with the shift select and then scale them along the z axis s z 0 like this then select this inner edge loop and scale them along the x axis in this way little bit then you can select the sharper edges so go to the select and select sharper edges and then control b add bevel on them add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one then add a few more loop cuts and then hit the control 2 to add the sub modifier and shade smooth it our design is ready and you can see the design it looks really well we have created this design with the right topology and you can see the topological flow at there in this way you can combine two different objects with the proper vertex count so that's why your proper vertex count is important and it takes several trials to get that proper vertex count so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye see you in the next video take care